Hey family, how's it going? This is your girl Marissa. I'm hoping you seeing me. I think um let me stand up. Yeah, cuz I think I'm a little too dark. I'm going to stand closer to this light so you can see me. Um I'm not holding my camera on a tripod. I'm holding it with my hand, so it might be a little shaky too. Maybe that's better. Yeah. Okay. So I am vlogging today. Now, if you are a member of my channel, you know I am not a vlogger. Um, the reason why I wanted to vlog, um, because this is my spring break here, and I wanted to incorporate a new eating plan um, and a lifestyle change. Not so much a weight loss, um, because I'm at the size, I'm 5'5", five five and I'm between 180 and 185, I'm assuming. Um, because I'm still um, a size 14 and I wear large clothes, um, some uh, medium if they stretch. And I'm still pretty much fitting in to most of my clothes. Um, some of them are kind of a little bit bigger than um, others. Um, so what I wanted to do was, really what I want to do is I want to eat healthier for health reasons and I also wanted to tone. I do need to lose a little bit of weight. I would love to be uh, 160 and to be toned. Um, I think that would be a good look on me. I remember when I was 160 and I really liked that size better and moreover I'd probably be a size 12 and be able to wear medium clothes and some small clothes. And I think I would look uh, better overall um, when I don't have clothes on. And that's kind of my goal is to impress myself, not others. Um, so I want to go ahead and take you on a day, um, a journey of me buying uh, foods to incorporate in this lifestyle that I will be starting this week for spring break. I'm actually starting it tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, and I want to get um, a sauna suit. I'm going to go to Target and I'm going to take you with me. I want to get a sauna suit and I want to also get some Abilene or some Vicks because I heard that th that is very good to rub on your stomach with some saran wrap and also to use the, um, the sauna thing. I don't know if I'm going to rub the, put the saran wrap on if I have the sauna suit because I know the sauna suit, they say to be very cautious of it because it can, you can overheat in it. And for those of you who don't know what a sauna suit is, if I can find it today at Target, I will be able to show it to you. I also want to um, go to the 99 cent store and get most of my vegetables from there because it's cheaper um, and it would be easier for me to go ahead and to buy those and to buy the uh, the meat that I want to have incorporate in this um, lifestyle change, not diet. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is take you to um, this fast food place, believe it or not, that has a weight machine. It's right by my house. And um, I do have a scale, but I need batteries for it. But I think I want to use this weight machine because I've used it before um, when I was um, on diets. And um, they seem to be pretty accurate. Or this one seemed to be pretty accurate. And I want to weigh myself, show you guys um, my weight at the same time, and then start this journey. So um, this is going to be a day of vlogging. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be good at it, but I sure am going to try. Okay, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay fam, so here I am at the weight machine. It says, it's called Accurate Weight, and it says check your weight. I just checked it and it said that I weighed 176 uh, pounds and some little change. And so I'm going to again check it with you guys. I wanted to check it by itself without the camera because I know the camera is going to uh, put some weight on me. and. Um, I want to see how how much I weigh without the camera. Um, so hopefully it's the same weight. Let's try. Just put 25 cents in. It says thank you. Please stand still. 
weight check is now in progress okay and it's saying that I'm 177.7 so I was right to do this without the camera at first so originally I am 166 point something I think it was like 166 I mean not 166 176 point maybe five or six so I'm gonna go with the 176 because I feel like that's my accurate weight and then um, I also will put my camera weight on there which is 177.6 um, so the next time I weigh we'll see but I weigh less than I really thought I thought I was weighing 180 185 and I'm in the 70s so I'm not that far away from 160 so I'm happy so on to the next venture uh, the next thing we're going to go I think I'm going to go to the 99 cent store and see what they have in regards to uh, vegetable I know they don't really have produce unless it's frozen but I'm going to go and get those things together uh, bring it back home and then go to Target okay so I'll see you at the 99 cent store Hey family, I hope you can hear me. I am at the 99 cent store right now and I am at the um I am where I don't want to be. Um these are the um things that I the I usually come to look for things to uh do my DIYs and <laughs> I'm just showing you a few of the yummy yummy things that they have here. Look at this wreath, you guys. This is the Easter wreath right here. And I could think of so many things I could do and add to this. And it's already pretty much done for me. But I think I'm going to leave it alone. I'm, I'm thinking I'm picking it up now that I see it. Oh. But here is just some of the yummy things they have. And of course, this is my card here. I did find some of the produce things that I was looking for. And then some of the things that I forgot that they had here due to the fact of looking at other people's um, videos. So I did find it. And I'm going to show you what I'm getting when I go home. Just taking you down the aisles a little bit. Um, I think they have another aisle that I want to look through. Let's go down here for a minute. But it's another aisle that um, I want to look through that I think they have things for DIYs. I'm just looking at some of the sponges and stuff. I have a brush that I use. I bought to scrub my um, my bathtub from TJ Maxx, but I was looking. I was thinking that it might be a little too coarse for it or too heavy, but I think I'll just go ahead and keep that. And here's some awesome over there, you guys. Awesome is always awesome. Let me see. I think I need some more vinegar. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead, shut this off, and um, next time you see me, it will probably be at home showing you the things that I bought. Hey family, so I am back from the 99 cent store and I wanted to show you my haul. Um, it's not a lot of things, but it's things that I really needed and that I felt were necessities. Um, so I spent $20 and 44 cents and um, overall I'm happy with that amount. I'm happy that I was able to find some of the things that I needed. Um, one of the things that I was looking for was these baby carrots. Um, and I bought two bags of the, um, this and I think this will last me for um, this week and maybe going into next week. I do plan on eating it frequently throughout the week. 
The next thing I got, and I saw, uh, I think her name is Ken Lou Kennedy. I mentioned her before in one of my 99 cent stores. And she was showing these English cucumbers. They are big, you guys, humongous. And I got two of those. And I plan to be eating this um, throughout my... Um, throughout this week and hopefully it could go into um it'll last and go into uh next week i like the fact that not only is it package three um come in the package for a dollar but they're also packaged um individually and i know that because uh ken ken lee or ken lu i think her name is she was showing it on her video I also got some celery. Now, I don't hate celery, but it's not one of my favorite things. But when it's dipped in ranch dressing, along with the carrots, I love it. So, that's kind of my plan for that. I also got these um, seaweed. This is the ocean snack. And they're three for a dollar. So, I thought that was a good spend or good buy. And then I got some lettuce heads. And I got two of them. Of course, um, nine nine sets each, and then I got these uh, three pack of taco seasoning. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using it this week, but this is good to have. I do like to use the taco seasoning when I do my uh, ground turkeys. Again, I got the mango and peach. I got this last time, and I really enjoy it. It's for um, for a dollar. I'm noticing that I got a lot of things that were set of our um, things. I got a lot of things that, yeah, it, it's, I think maybe just a few things that are single. That's pretty good. And then I got this uh, Stonyfield Yo Kids uh, Organic um, Yogurt Pouches. And this is the blueberry. I've never tried it, but I want to try it. And I'm hoping that I like it so I could go back and get more since it's four. I also got these French rolls. Um, I love French rolls. They usually go bad on me, so I'm going to try and use them with um, various meats, especially with my uh, tuna uh, fish that I think I'm going to make one day for lunch. Another thing that I got that is a non-food item, I got these cotton balls uh, because I want to use it when I start tuning. I also saw these bananas there and I got, let me show, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten of them. And um, we don't eat bananas here that fast, but I've been eating them lately because I'm putting them in my smoothies as well as I've been um, eating them for snacks. So I've been doing really good. I also got this container because I want to make some lemonade. I do have uh, four lemonades that I got for a dollar yesterday at Food for Less. And I think I'm going to go back and get some more. Um, I was hoping that I could get some uh, lemonade at the 99 cent store. And I just couldn't. They didn't have any. So that's cool. Um, I got this Crystal Geyser Sparkling Spring Water. And this is a naturally mixed berry flavor. And um, I got two of these. I love these. Um, I find that I really, it's not so much that I love soda. I like the sparkling um, part of the soda. So if I drink those waters, um, that, that's, um, it's kind of like my soda. Because I don't really care so much about the flavor as I do the sparkling. Um, I've seen these buckets at Dollar Tree as well as getting it here at 99 cent store. I almost got this and I ended up getting another bucket and I ended up kind of regretting it. And so I went ahead and picked this up. Last but not least... I went ahead and I got this True Fruit Ruby Grapefruit. Um, I get these at the supermarket. It was great to see them for a dollar. I think at the supermarket... I think they have it like four for five or something. And then um, they only had one of these and I was looking for more. And then they have these uh, True Fruit Purely Pineapple. So I just, I think I just got one of them as well. I like pineapple, but I think I'd rather it more um, cut up and natural. But um, I will eat this.
I think I'm going to do is freeze them slightly to make it a little slushy and then eat it like a uh, fruit um, like a slushy fruit type of thing so this is my small haul you guys I hope you guys are enjoying my vlogging um, I know I'm not the best at it but I am trying so my next uh, place I want to go uh, before it gets dark is Target so I'll see you there hey family so um, since I'm vlogging and I am sharing with you my truths I feel like I need to share all my truths with you uh, this is what I've been feeling for a couple of weeks and this is Taco Bell's uh, Nachos Bell Grande I got the combo so I got a taco with it and then I got some hot sauce um, that I love to put on it sorry about the shaking I am using one finger I mean one hand one finger <laughs> But I wanted to be truthful and show you. I'm still trying to debate if I'm going to go to Target or I'm going to stop at CVS, I think, first to see if they have the Abilene. I don't think they'll have the sauna suits. And then I might go to Ross just because they're close in the vicinity. If not, then I'll go ahead on to Target. But this is how I am looking right now. About to... Um, eat this and not feel guilty because I don't start my eating plan till tomorrow okay see you then hey family how's it going I started talking and the camera wasn't even on I didn't even hit record that's how tired I am but I wanted to stay strong for you guys because I said I'm vlogging so I'm vlogging um so actually today is the next day it's not Saturday anymore it's Sunday but that's okay um, let me kind of recap to you uh, where I left off. Um, so I was supposed to go, I was on my way after I ate at Taco Bell to go to CVS and to also go to Ross to see if I could find the um, sauna suit and also the, um, I can't even pronounce the word now, the cream, the uh, ad bowl you know the cream you know because i already mentioned it anyway so i couldn't find it at cvs i was looking for the cream there and um they didn't have it i asked the pharmacist and they didn't even recognize uh the product and so i went to um there i did i was able to go ahead and get my uh batteries for my um camera so then i went to ross and the same thing i could i saw all the other workout stuff but i didn't see the sauna suit so what i had decided to do the next alternative um instead of using that cream is to use vix vapor rub because i saw on pinterest and also here on youtube that people were saying that they use uh, Vicks Vapor Rub and it works just as well. In fact, they got the ones from uh, the Dollar Tree along with the wrap, um, the Saran Wrap. I already have Saran Wrap, so I think I'm going to go to Dollar Tree or the 99 Sister, whichever one have it, and um, get that Vicks Rub and um, just use that along with my belt that I already have. Uh, put the um, Vicks Rub the Dollar Tree version, the wrap, and then my uh, wrap around my tummy and um, go ahead and use that and see how that works. Um, if in the future I see the um, suit, then I will purchase it. But I did go Google it and I saw a lot of places having it for $39, $69, and then JCPenney had it for the right price, which was $7.99. But when I looked for the locations, all the locations were sold out. So I'm not even going to stress about it because, you know, this journey must continue. Okay, so what I want to show you right now, I did go to Food for Less today. Um, I didn't start doing my little kind of mini uh, meal prepping um, simply because I realized I needed more things and... Um, I wanted to make my meals as simple as possible um, and I'm going to go it all into that but first I want to show you what I made or what I bought not made okay so um, they had these Hillshire Farms Polish uh, sausage and beef smoked sausage um, for sale there were two for five dollars and I got the two one I'll freeze and one I'm going to be using this week I also got um, some yogurt. I got Activia. 
I think it was two something and I really like this. This is the prune one. And I think I've talked to you guys about it. I thought um one time it was the cher it was cherry yogurt. It ended up being prune and that's like my favorite. So I was happy for that. I also went and got for a snack. I don't know why I'm jumping all over the place. Um this low fat cottage cheese with pineapple. This is one of my mother's favorites and now it's mine. I also got um, some fresh Atlantic salmon. Um, I'm going to be baking this. I'm going to put, um, if we have sea salt, I don't think we have it, but salt, black pepper, and paprika and butter on it. Uh, put it in tin foil and just bake it. And, you know, just something simple. I'm not going to try and do all these different type of recipes that I like to do at times. I also got four... Um, Limes. I got these mozzarella sticks, which I love. This is the Kroger brand, and um, you get um, 12 of these, and it's 50 calories, and they're really, really good. Um, I try not to go for the name brand because their name brand, I really try to look for Kroger, which is kind of name brand because they do have their own supermarket. And they are affiliated with Food for Less and also Ralph's out here. I also got ground turkey. This is the 85% lean and 15% fat. That is some goodies. Okay, and then I got this. I think this is a real good deal. This is a three-pack um, container. It's a large deep dish. You get three in there. And it was $1.99, so this would be good. Um, for my dinner, I, um, slash kind of lunch, and I'm full, I had um, broiled some uh, chicken. So I'm going to put um, some of the chicken in one of those. I got about three pounds of lemons. I already had one pound of it, and I decided to go back because uh, for my drink, I am going to be uh, making some lemonade. Um, where I'll have probably one glass a day and then I'm also going to have lemon in my water. The next thing I bought was this hazelnut um, coffee mate and I love putting this in um, not only my coffee but also my oatmeal. Um, after I make my oatmeal in the uh, microwave, I use water in it and then I put this milk and then if I want to put some fruit or something and it's really, really good. Again, just trying to keep it simple and um, that's the key word for me because every time I go on a diet or eating plan, I always go overboard when it comes to the food. I want to make sure I have this meat and this recipe and doing this and then I get burnt out because it's so much work. So I'm not even trying to do that. Um, I have some chicken legs in the freezer and so I bought this ranch dip mix. I think I'm going to use a little bit of it on there along with some black pepper and maybe pep paprika and see if I like that. You know, something different or something new. So they, it was just like a little small mini haul and so that's all I have to show you guys. Anyway, um... You know, God has a way of always letting me know what he wants for me or what he wants uh, me to do. And I'm sure he does it for you, uh, whoever your God is. Okay, but my point is, um, I, I've i been thinking for months to do intermittent fasting. And if you guys don't know what intermittent fasting is, just look it up on YouTube. I'm not going to go... Um, um, too much into it but what it is is you're pretty much fasting for a couple of hours and then you have a, um, a couple of hours where you eat and then you go back and um, fast I had a co-worker uh, that was doing this I noticed her weight loss and her shape was beautiful and I was just asking her and she mentioned that and then I looked on YouTube and found a whole lot of you knew about intermittent fasting as well so anyway, I was looking at Thick Chick uh, Vlogs. She has about three channels, and I think this was her thrifting channel. Um, and I haven't seen her in a minute. And she posted on there how she lost 30 uh, pounds in 30 days. So she was, you know, just kind of saying exactly what I'm planning on doing. She made her meals simple. Um, she cut out cookies and chips 
and sodas, all the stuff I need to cut out. And um, and she just um, drank juice and she had her smoothies and her proteins, which I am adding. And I'm going to show you all that tomorrow. Um, she also did the um, apple cider vinegar, which you guys know I have done in the past. And I plan on doing that this week as well. And I'm going to show you all that uh, tomorrow when I show you everything. Okay. So, um, what she was saying too is, um, you know, she was just giving really, really good, um, really good, uh, tips on what to do and stuff. And you could really tell that she had lost some weight too. And then, um, she also introduced me to some people online that she's been following that I didn't know. I knew about that, um, that, um. I can't even see the, oh, Leslie Sansoon, couldn't say her name. And then it was another guy that does videos on there, and she talked about that. So, you know, go ahead and check her out if you guys don't know who she is. She's doing big things. Okay, um, another thing I wanted to show you is I wanted to show you a little small haul that I got from Ross. Um, I didn't get it yesterday. I got it about maybe... I think it was Friday or so, but I really needed some shirts and I really wanted to uh, buy some really cute stuff. So, um, for the spring and for the summer. So, I got this shirt. It's Jones of New York. Um, it was $14.99 because Jones of New York, I, if I'm not mistaken, is um, a known fashion designer. And this is the top that I have. And it has the little pockets there. It's um, black and white top. And then right here is a, a light blue collar. It's really, really pretty on. Um, the new thing it seems to be with these shirts is that they're not going straight now. They're cuffing um, like, um, what you call it? The baby onesies. Like it, it, It's like a cuff. Like it could almost be little uh, buttons there to go under. That's what it reminds me of. But I really like that style. And then it does kind of um, cuff my bottom. Which I don't have a big bottom. But it looks really nice on my shape. Here's another shirt that I got. And this one I got for $10. And I thought it was a good deal. Because this is like an artistic type shirt. And it's really, really pretty. I love it. It's a big blue flower. It's white. And then um, the back is a uh, solid navy blue. And it's kind of sheer. And it's really good for the spring and summer. Um, the, the top is kind of um, thick. It's like a... Um, what you call it it's like cotton and then the back is a uh, sheer it's a different type of uh, material I really like that and let me show you the sleeves sleeves are awesome if I can get them open yep that's that okay moving right along and I've been looking for some chia seeds I thought I would have to go to Trader Joe's or our um, what you call it, uh, Whole Foods, but no, right in um, Ross, they had, you know, they always have their little food section, and this one was $2.99. When I went into family, when I went into the 99 cent store, why did they have this same brand, but it was smaller than this one for a dollar, but I could have got like two or three of these, and it would equal, it would be bigger than this. And I almost picked up one, but I was like, no, let me just keep the one. This is an 8-ounce one, and these are chia seeds, and who are they by? I oh, don't know. I can't really read it because oh, I can't see it. But here it is, and maybe you can read and see it. Okay. The next thing, well, the last thing I got, and this reminded me of my childhood, like late 80s, early 90s, or maybe even early 80s, um, this shirt. And I love it because of the color. I don't always get uh, colors, um, green tops or green clothes at all. can't always find um, them that I really like. So, um, I usually never get them, but this is so cute, you guys. Um, right now, the camera is not doing it justice the way it is. It's so pretty, and it's so nice on. I got this for $9.99, so $10 too, like the other 
And this one is from Susan Lawrence. And it was in a large. Very, very nice. I'm very, very pleased with this top. And so that's it, you all. So I wanted just to finish it out and let you guys know what is going on with me. Um, and, oh, I do have one more thing I wanted to show you. I got this the other day from TJ Maxx, but I said I had to show you this because I got it for $2. And I think it's so cute. These are lead branches. I wish they had more, but they only had this one. And I'm going to, I hopefully they'll work, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some batteries in it and see if they're working. But they're just for $2, TJ Maxx clearance, don't sleep on it. But anyway, you guys, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. Can you believe it? Yes. I can't promise you I'm going to vlog tomorrow. I just can promise you that I am going to show you what I'll be eating throughout the week, how I prepared it, and um, my thoughts so far. Um, so I will be doing intermittent fasting. Uh, the first time that I'll be eating tomorrow is at 10. I'm going to do um, the 16 um 16 8 window so that means i fast for 16 hours and i um eat from 10 to 6. um already i already i didn't really start it today so what i'm just going to do is just start eating from 10 stop at 6 tomorrow and then start it for monday in the evening start it and it goes towards tuesday because um, today was kind of already shot. I didn't plan to really do the intermittent fasting until today. So I hope um, you guys kind of um, understand. It's just like any other day where I decide to, okay, I'm at my breakfast at 10. I'm going to stop eating at 6 type of thing. So anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Smooches. Um, I'm going to get some sleep. And if it's your night time, go get you some sleep too. Bye-bye, my loves.